Hi, my name is Joseph, or the Shady Blacksmith on social media. Thank you for joining us for Timeless Share. Today we'll be reading from Ecclesiastes ver uh, chapter 7, verses 15 through 20. In my futile life, this is Solomon speaking, I have seen everything. There is a righteous man who perishes in spite of his righteousness, and there is a wicked man who lives long in spite of his evil. Don't be excessively righteous, and don't be overly wise. Why should you destroy yourself? Don't be excessively wicked, and don't be foolish. Why should you die before your time? It is good that you grasp the one, and do not let the other slip from your hand, for the one who fears God will end up with both of them. Wisdom makes the wise man stronger than ten rulers of a city. There is certainly no righteous man on earth, who does good and never sins. When I first read this, I thought, Solomon, what are you talking about? I read it again, and I still had no idea what it meant. And I read it in four other translations than what I read it in the first time. And I started slowly seeing what it was talking about. Um, Solomon was the wisest person who ever existed, obviously, except for Jesus. And he said in verse 20, There is certainly no righteous man on earth who does good and never sins. The part that I was missing is that that verse ties in with the rest of the verses in this section. He was not saying, um, don't be super wise um, and don't be like a super good person. And he wasn't saying, be bad, but not horrible. He was saying, do not see yourself as an extremely wise person. And do not see yourself as someone who is absolutely horrible. Uh, in my life, personally, uh, it, I've prayed many times in the past, God, I don't deserve this. Thank you so much for doing this for me. I could never deserve this. And eventually God said to me, I paid the price for you. Of course, on your own, you don't deserve it. But because I say you are worth it, you are worth it. And that's something that I had to accept in my own life was that through him, I am worth it. And it's not through my wisdom. It is through him. But it, at the same time, it's not through all the horrible things that I've done that make me a really bad person um, because he washed all of that away when he saved my life. Verse 19 says, Wisdom makes the wise man stronger than ten rulers of a city. So he does not want you to stop pursuing wisdom. He wants... He, he was writing that we need to fully go after God and fully go after the things that he wants for us. But when we have a relationship with God and when we maybe um, understand more of who God is than the next person to us, we still need to realize that our wisdom is idiotacy to God. Is that a word? I hope that's a word. Um, you know, it, and our the bad things that we've done while we get closer to God, we see how bad those are, but because of his grace, it's been covered. We don't need to be so extreme over here that we think we're better than other people, and we don't need to be so extreme over here that we think we're not worth it. That's the gist of of what that was saying. We need to be right in the middle, understanding that in God we have wisdom and in God we have forgiveness of sins, just like everyone else uh, who has accepted God. If you haven't accepted God, then now would be a great time to do it. And there's a link in the video, uh, in the bio down below the video that will take you to a video to um, explain to you how you can accept Jesus into your life. Thank you for watching the Timeless Share. 
I hope this has helped you in your daily walk with God.